Greetings, I am Harry Larry from Gary, and this is episode 1809 of The Sims 4 Gallery Lots, and this particular lot is called Ep Scott Memorial Library. It is on a 30 by 30 lot type library. A little bit of a description, a lot of hashtags are always more welcome to read. And while you're doing that, we're going to go through these photos, see if it does a lot justice or not. Kind of. Actually, that's pretty good, actually. From Max's, anyways. So, let's go take a look at this real thing here. Well, that looks pretty cool. So, no real backyard. We'll go take a look at these garbage area. Here in a sec. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Doesn't look like it. I was looking for a mouse hole or something like that, if you're wondering. Oh, nice little greenery off to the side. We'll take a little gander. That looks like young bamboo. All right, let's go down and take a look around. See if I can line everything up. Don't know how I'm doing. Flying blind, man. I'm flying blind. Thank you. Oh, I like the library book uh, drop off. That was pretty cool. At least that's what I imagine it to be. Yeah, nice. All right. Let's take a forward glint gander and we'll dive right on in. That looks pretty. I want to see if there's any books down there. Oh, they even got a cart to catch them. Very nice. Nice little greenery. Let's go on in. Of course, the first thing I'm going to look at, see if there's a book over there in the cart. Now, why does that book drop off? See, it's little things that make me happy. That definitely made me happy. Okay, let's go take a gander at this front desk before we go left or right. Book carts look really cool. Hi, Bob. So Bob wasn't doing too good, so I made him fix himself, herself anyway, himself. Probably one of my favorite pictures right there from the new new ones anyways. Actually, all those are really good. That one was really cute to add as well. I 
No, you didn't. Well, that thing's just adorable. I don't think I've seen that yet. Yeah, huge fan. Well, I'm thinking so many ideas to use that for. Nice little kitchen section, though. It's been so long since I used one. I can't remember what those are called over there. When you're looking up the book by title or author. Those right there. Can't think what it's called. My eight-year-old self would know. But not future self. Eventually it will come to me. So I'll ponder upon it for a while. Nice bathroom. And since I do see one, I'm going to kick out. A, yes, I am waving. You're always more welcome to wave back. Or not. Now, this was a good uh, add-on. I just wish they also had urinals. Granted, that doesn't really go with kids' stuff, but definitely goes with the bathroom stuff. Nice loo paper. And we do got a toddler toilet. Ditto did christen, christen it. Still always wish to see uh, Ditto. I mean, uh, it's you that time. Still like seeing a uh, loo paper by toddler toilets. Ooh, it almost came to me. And now it's gone. The Dewey Decimal System? That sounds pretty close to it. those cards are filed under the Dewey Decimal System. But the cards are called... don't remember. That's very helpful. That stool right there. And then we got the toddler area. Yeah, I think I like every single one of these ones. <laughs> hey, Edgy. He does snore like this. Oh. Sure, now he's not snoring. Earlier I came by him and all I heard was <laughs> You know, I bet you're really glad to know this story, huh? Alright, let's go take a look upstairs. This is a really nice library. Library. I always say it with two A's instead of two R's. Out of all of them, this one's probably my least favorite. I like the other one better. If I have to be honest. Oh, we got a poker game going on here. Or could go on. I 
definitely like these low nooks throwing around in here. Hi, Valley. I always like those elephants. We got phenomenal legs. I like the car version ones better of those. But those are still cool. Fun little interactive for the kids. I did turn down the lights here. It was really, really super bright. Mostly because of the white walls. And the early morning sun. Some nice little reading nooks here and there. So cool. Yeah, beautiful place. All right, so I do believe the front is over here. Let's go up a little bit and we'll take a closer look at this build. That was a really cool place. All right, as always, if you ended up enjoying your luck this lot and or video you're always more than welcome to give this video a thumbs up if you find yourself enjoying my content and you're not a subscriber well you're always more than welcome to subscribe I know pretty hard to believe limited time offer of course only for the next 100 years it is offered. And after that, it's gone. To those of you who already are my subscribers, why well, thank you very kindly. I always think that's really, really cool. And hopefully I keep on making content that you enjoy watching. Since I enjoy making it. If you have anything to say, you're always more than welcome as well to put something in the comment section. I always enjoy reading those and answering when I can. If you know anybody who would like to see this lot in video form, you're always more than welcome to share this video. And of course, the most important thing of all, please take a look at this creator's other creations. I had some really nice ones, including this one. This is one that actually really feels like a library. A lot of them do, but not 100%. This one's got the 100% feel, feel. More so since they got that book uh, drop off. Still a huge fan of that. Can't believe nobody thought about that. I know I never did when I made my own. Now I'm kind of jealous. All right, let's go for a top down view. And as you can see, 
there is no problem whatsoever with the ceiling. So this place is going to stay nice and toasty warm during the winter time. She's definitely going to wake up with a stiff neck. And there is no basement. Yeah, that was a really fun place to take a look at. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. I wish that lamppost was not in my way. I'd like to come down just a smidge more, but... We'll have to go with that. All right. With that happy thought, hopefully I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, later.